terrorism deaths have declined over the past five years globally, but attacks in sub-Saharan Africa have more than doubled since 2016. This is according to the UNDP findings from the survey of nearly 2,200 men and women that challenge traditional assumptions about what drives people to violent extremism. In terms of there's been an overall reduction in deaths, but an overall increase in terms of the attacks. And what we see in terms of acceleration, this is predominantly in terms of violent extremist groups in the Sahel. And noting that uh, amongst the 10 most affected uh, countries globally from violent extremism, we have three that are in the Sahel. The findings also show that it is lack of jobs, more than religious ideology that is allowing jihadist groups and other violent extremists to attract growing numbers of recruits in sub-Saharan Africa. In terms of the economic factors, also noting that there was um, low levels of trust, I can say, in government and disappointment in terms of provision of livelihoods activities. Also noting the global economic situation and the impact, for example, of COVID-19, one can see how, you know, or surmise how the economic factors have become, you know, more of a critical pull factor into the violent extremist uh, groups. The UNDP notes, however, that the shift in violent extremist activity from the Middle East to sub-Saharan Africa has received relatively little attention from the international community. Yes.